Let's start by taking a look at the different parts of a 3D printer. The process begins with the filament. This is the plastic material that is pulled into the printer, melted, and then placed on the printing platform to create our designed object. The filament is pulled into the printer using the extruder. The extruder is usually some type of gear with teeth on it that pulls or pushes the filament into the hot end to be melted. There are a few different parts on this view, but the one that you should recognize is the hot end. The hot end on this printer is the cylinder wrapped in red. This is what actually heats up and melts the filament. The hot end is moved around on the printer and places the melted plastic where we need it to go. The PrinterBot Simple Metal has a great feature where it can automatically detect the level of the bed. This saves a lot of trouble with 3D printing because the bed needs to be the right level to get the print to stay on the platform. It measures where the platform is by going around the three different points and measuring where the metal bed is. The bed sensor lights up when it detects the metal bed below. After the bed is measured, the printer will do an outline of the object. This basically primes the hot end and makes sure that the filament is extruding before it starts to print the object. Then it actually starts to print the object. In this case, a 20 millimeter cube we use for calibration. The hot end completes the edges of the cube before filling the inside. When the printer completes a layer, it raises the hot end and begins the next layer. The first few layers on the bottom will be completely filled to make the object stable. As it builds the cube up, there is no need to make the inside solid, so instead it creates some diagonal lines to fill the inside. You can control how solid or how hollow the inside is. This is called infill. In general, most objects can print with infill between 15 and 30 percent. Infill at just 50% is quite full and sturdy. When the printer gets to the top layers, it will again start to completely fill the layers to make the top of the object look more solid.